Hey y'all, Coldfire here, and this video is a quick review of two games that are free to grab on Epic Store until April 16. In case you have no idea, uh, Epic Store have free games every week, so it's always good to go check that out. I will be doing weekly videos of those free games on my channel. The plan I have is to release those videos every weekend, so stay tuned and make sure to subscribe if you're not already. So no more overdo and let's get started. The first of the two games I would like to cover on this video is called Close to the Sun. It is developed by Storm in a Teacup company and is published by Wired Productions. The original release date is May 2, 2019 and is rated for Mature 17 Plus. It is officially classified as horror, first person and adventure, however I would frame it more like a walking simulator with graphic aesthetics and vibes of a Bioshock, however with the pace of Outlast maybe, so that's that's how I would describe this game in a, in a nutshell. The backstory for this game is an alternate history world where Nikola Tesla, the famous scientist, uh, managed to successfully create a lot of crazy stuff and he's kind of a mad scientist there so he created this ship called Helios which is a kind of a like science lab for brilliant scientists all over the world and it's having its own sovereignty and laws and, and stuff like that and you play as Rose a journalist who comes aboard to the Helios to look for her sister and of course it doesn't take too long after you boarding the ship to see that things are not as they look like like things things go sideways really really fast the moment you enter the ship you notice that the ship was being quarantined and you cannot see anyone alive on the ship anymore and everything is a wreck quarantine what have you got yourself into, Ada? Great! So this is the basic uh, backstory and plot for this game. Now to the game mechanics. It is a, a slow paced world building, like you, you walk around, you solve puzzles and you run away from enemies. There is absolutely zero combat involved, so there is no shooting, no stabbing, no punching. All you have to do is walk around, solve puzzles, find stuff, find key cards, like uh, unlock safes. And at some point you, you need to run away from monsters and the way you beat this puzzle is basically basically by doing the right path because if you take the wrong turn you're gonna die and you're gonna have to redo it all over again until you find the right uh, path to escape this uh, this enemy so this is like the game mechanics in a nutshell for this game so again it's it, it is kind of slow paced it is thrilling at some points it is scary also at some points but don't expect it like to be a true horror game it have some moments of like oh fuck shit shit but it's not a horror game at the its essence. Puzzles are not difficult, but sometimes you may miss a clue somewhere, like minutes ago or maybe a lot of minutes ago, and then you're kind of clueless of what to do. So try to pay very close attention to all the details you see, but overall the puzzles are not that hard. In my particular opinion, the where the game really really shines is on the aesthetics. The game is gorgeous, especially if you have a high-end graphics card. The backstory and the environments are really, really well done. There's all of those little details like that's around Nikola Tesla's inventions. There's those patents on the wall. Uh, if you just have a lot of free time that I'm pretty sure most of you should have with this pandemic we are suffering right now, I think that that's a great game just to, to look around stuff and and like be amazed by the small details of the environments. All right, so what is my verdict about this game? I personally would not recommend you buying the game if you miss this freebie uh, opportunity from Epic Store, uh, but since it's for free, it, I would definitely recommend it. It's not a bad game at all. It is fun, it is gorgeous, and it will entertain you for a day or two, so Make sure to grab it and, and play it if you have time, if you have free time. Uh, but if you miss this window, I would not advise you to buy it. This is the machine with which I intend to rid the world of war once and for all. My dear death ray. It may seem contradictory that such a thing could promote peace, but possessed with this 
none would even consider military action against us. That's the theory, at least. Uh, Alright, so that's it for this Close to Sun game, and now I'll move on to the, the second game of this week, which is Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. The game is developed and published by Frogwares. It was released on 2014, so keep that in mind when judging the graphics. They are really interesting and detailed, but keep in mind that it's a six year old game so don't expect like mind-blowing aesthetics and graphics the rating is also mature 17 plus on epic store and it is available for pretty much every single possible platform ps3 4 xbox 360 xbox one and computer this is the penultimate game from the sherlock home series launched so far so we have this one that was launched in uh, 2014 and we also have the devil's daughter that was launched on 2016. I don't think I need to introduce to you what uh, who Sherlock Holmes is. Come on, if you don't know it, get out of here. Everyone knows Sherlock Holmes. So I guess it's unnecessary to explain the backstory for this game. Stop, Holmes! Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded? Watson, quiet please. I'm trying to concentrate. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? Uh, the game mechanics is basically there are six cases of murder that you have to solve. Uh, I only played the first one so far, so I cannot say exactly how the others roll, but they probably are very similar. From what I read, all the murder cases are unrelated, so it's like six standalone missions that you have to accomplish so it's there, there isn't a link between those six missions which is kind of disappointing if you ask me uh, it would be nice to see uh, like a, an underlying link between all of them leading to a great case like a grand finale but it is what it is all the all the cases are really really well written the, the characters are charismatic you start to 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 care about those characters the longer you play with them and it's the very essence of any Sherlock Holmes games you walk around the scene the murder scenes and others other uh, spaces you gather evidence and the, the, the really interesting part of the game that it's not very trivial it's kind of kind of really complex to be honest is after gathering all the evidence you need to link them together to create a conclusion about the your suspect whoever you gonna charge uh, there are kind of endless possibilities here where you can link clues, uh, clues together to form a conclusion and only one of them is right so it's very likely that you charge the wrong person that you're gonna fail the mission and you're gonna do the conclusion again so that's that's quite interesting it's it's challenging to you have to read a lot of pieces of evidence and you have to really think of the out of the box however don't expect like if you're a lawyer for example you're probably gonna be frustrated by the game because one little disappointment about this is that most clues are very circumstantial for example where the rope was tied with a sailor or not therefore a sailor must have been present so yeah most of clues would not hold on a like a real jury uh, so that's that but they they really build up the narrative and usually from what i read the 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 murder is not who you expect to be so there's a lot of plot twists and the game looks lengthy i mean i played for roughly two hours and i'm still haven't finished my first case so i'm pretty sure you could spend a good i don't know 12 20 hours maybe on this game as i said the graphics are not that amazing but they are not a weak spot on this game at all you i never got like uh let down by lack of graphics quality even though that's a six year old game it's not a problem at all especially since the narrative is really engaging there are a bunch of few mini puzzles and mini games inside the game like 
pick lock picking uh, some evidence you have to bring back to your home to use your lab to dust for prints to vaporize something to detect uh, which material is made of uh, maybe some uh, clues you don't know by your hand head so you have to go back to your library and check your logs to see if you can find more information about particular names and all so that's pretty much what this game is about you just walk around the map you go from different scenes and you find evidence for the for a crime you also have to you also can interrogate suspects to try to get more clues and that's pretty much it so what is my verdict of this game i highly recommend you get it especially if you can do this for free right now on epic store however if you have a special deal maybe on steam with a huge discount after the epic uh, freebie is over i still would advise you to get this game it is very very fun to play it is chill like there's no rush there's no stress on the game uh, and it is interesting i would 100 recommend this game even if you have to buy it depending on the price of course but if you're watching this before april 16 make sure to grab it for free on epic store so that'll be all for this uh, review video i hope this video was helpful to you make sure to leave your comments here if you want to see more of those because i really enjoyed doing them uh, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I see you next time.